What is up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the Shift Shift OS on this device. This is how it looks like in the Android version section. We have the Shape Shift logo up top and then we have the version as this Magic Arp 1.0.3 unofficial build. Here the Android version is 10 of course. The security patch is latest of June 5th 2020. The build date here is 7th June 2020 and the stock kernel is Hydra Plus. Let me go back in the system. As you can see in the advanced section, even there is no system updater. This is an initial build, I guess. So you should not expect those. In the gesture section, we have some customizations. Now we have the swipe rate screenshot. As you can see, this does work. This is the Asus kind of screenshot kind of gesture. As you can see, we have some options for long screenshot, then edit and share and delete. This panel does not go away, so that's pretty cool, I guess. You can only tap anywhere in the UI to like make it go away. In the touchscreen gestures, we have the haptic feedback section, then adaptive playback option is there. In the system gestures, we have this gesture navigation. You can have the customization from here for the like Android 10 gestures. As you can see, you can change the gesture peel bar over here size. As you can see this gesture peel bar, I have increased the size of it. This is how it looks like, looks pretty cool. You can also enable this haptic tick feedback and stuff. So there are pretty much a lot of customizations. Even you can hide this spill bar and use the full screen real estate of the device. Here we have the two and three button navigation again. Let me go back to talk about the flashing procedure over here. I have followed the same things which I did with the Pixel Experience Plus ROM. So I am still on this Violet 20.6.4 China weekly firmware if you are not on that. And I have used the Orange Fox version R10.1 underscore 3 recovery and I am decrypted over here. So if you're not decrypted, please watch this part of this video so that you can get an idea about like what I'm talking about. So I wiped cache Dalvik system data and flashed the firmware, ROM file and rebooted. If you guys are not decrypted and if you want to go decrypted way, you can try this remove force encryption version 2 file. If you want this, I can list it below in the description. So you should not worry about flashing in a decrypted way. But the flashing procedure is pretty much similar to the Pixel Experience ROM or the Evolution X ROM or even this Bliss ROM, which I'm thinking about doing a video on. I did not need anything else like GApps or something because that is pre-included over here. Now going into the security, you will see this play system update section shows red. If you tap on it, I think it will like download that update. As you can see, it shows restart now. So if I restart now, it will install that update without any issues. And here we do not have the face unlock feature that is simply missing. Now let me go back. We have the sound settings and here we have the screenshot sound disabling option, but there is no me audio delay as of right now over here as you can see, but there is this live caption mode and there is this vibrate for calls section. And this is how the volume panel looks like over here. Looks pretty cool. You can also expand it if you want to, but it is looking like stock Android ish. And you can put the phone into silent or vibrate from here. In the display settings, we have the dark theme. On top, we have the styles and wallpapers. Let me show you this first in the custom section. If I go next, next. And as you can see, we have a plenty of accent colors so over here. You just have to scroll in this area and these kind of colors will appear from the like list. We also have this kind of red and stuff. So you should not worry about accent colors over here. I guess there are a plethora of options, but you have to set a custom theme from here. You gotta keep that in mind. In the clock settings, we have some lock screen clock kind of customization. Plethora of options like these looks pretty cool, I guess. And in the grid section, we have this four by four, five by five, up to six by six grids. And in the wallpaper section, we have this live wallpapers as you can see. And then if you scroll down, these are the wallpapers you will get. You can download them from here. Also, there are this pixel kind of live wallpapers, I guess. Now, let me go back which wallpaper I'm using. If you guys are asking this shape shift wallpaper, I have been using this app, which is like there by default. As you can see, there are a lot of wallpapers over here. You can choose from any of them. These are pretty much the shape shift OSS wallpaper. And there are a plethora of options as you are noticing. I do like these wallpapers pretty much. They are quite colorful, I guess. So you can use them if you want to. There is also this hide notch section in this like display settings. Some of you guys were asking in the Pixel Experience Plus video if it had that. Yes, the Pixel Experience Plus also had this hide notch feature. And then display size, screen saver, lock screen display is there. There is no always on display, by the way. Double tap to wake is there. Now let me show you if there is double tap to sleep. So yes, 
double tap to sleep on the status bar is there and as you can see double tap to wake actually does work too now let me go back in the settings panel this looks really cool like as you can see this is how it looks like although the settings icon looks a bit different more of the icons does look a little bit different as you can see the quick toggles panel does look a little bit different too over here by default out of the box and you can add multiple things from here as you are noticing these are the things you can add but there is no fps info option that i could not find but there is two screen recorders let me show you as you can see this one and this one both are present let me tap on this one it shows this record video voiceover show taps low quality and settings and stuff is there this is one screen recorder then we have this other screen recorder which is the oxygen OS screen recorder from where you can change from the resolution bitrate number of frames and the audio source everything you can change from here so we get two screen recorders by default now all the customizations are inside this customization panel but before i show you that let me show you the stock launcher to the left we have the google's discover page swiping down gets you to the notification panel as you can see swiping up gets you to the app drawer and widgets and stuff should be working fine and the most interesting thing about this launcher that this is the launcher launcher over here as you can see this is present by default and this launcher launcher has a lot of customizations and in the gesture section as you can see there is also this double tap to sleep option so once you enable this permission from for this launcher launcher you can just go ahead and double tap anywhere on the home screen and it will lock your device so this is a really interesting feature and i really really like it as you can see i can double tap anywhere in the home screen and it locks the screen every time really convenient in my opinion but the stock camera over here is a bit disappointing in my opinion as you can see this is the stock camera old kind of snapdragon camera i guess or the newer snapdragon camera i'm not really sure and the front camera and stuff does work but this is the default camera here it does not take pictures as good as miui camera or google camera of course so you can separately flash the latest anx camera version 184 which i'll link below and you can also install google camera 7 if you want to but the stock camera is not actually that good of course the DRM info shows as level 1 over here so you should not worry about Netflix or Amazon Prime videos in 1080p and it also passes the safety net test so you can use Google Pay or any other banking apps right out of the box over here. I have also tested the IR Bluster present on the device and that is working fine with this ROM. Now let's just jump into the customization panel and here we get a lot of customizations. In the status bar section we have the vault icons over here. Then we have the normal status of our icons like headset, bluetooth etc icons are there. And here we have the 4G icon instead of LTE. Then network traffic indicators are there. You can choose whatever you want and you can customize it too. Here we have the double tap to sleep on the status bar and that is working fine. Then in the lock screen section we have the double tap to sleep again on the lock screen. And fingerprint authentication vibration and stuff is there. In the UI tuner we have the 10 the quick setting tiles over here as you can see and we have the brightness slider at the bottom MIUI style brightness slider is there let me turn it on and see so yeah as you can see it is there and it actually works looks pretty beautiful in my opinion i'll use that this is a beta feature it may or may not work sometimes and then we have the quick setting toggle column row number customizations then we have dashboard customization and the higher aspect ratio section is there so you can force particular apps to like the full screen and in the theme engine we have the accent colors again and here we can change the accent colors too but we have also that option inside styles and wallpapers and here we have the body font section plethora of fonts as you are noticing we also have a pixel font and stuff xo2 etc fonts are there even oneplus slate is there so a lot of fonts options are there then icon shapes options are there rounded teardrop hexagon square curl, cylinder rounded rectangle everything is there in the primary color section you can choose the background color i guess from here black one plus dark etc is there then we have the like status bar icons rounded field and circular icons are there in the notification panel we have the ambient light option this is the edge lighting so you can change or choose whatever colors you want for the edge lighting as you can see this should work for new notifications in the battery charging light we can have the notification led kind of customization now let me go back from here we have the navigation and buttons invert layout option is there in the power menu we do have the advanced restart from here advanced restart on secure lock screen 2 is there so the advanced restart option will appear in the like lock screen 2 you can directly reboot to recovery or fast boot from here of course 
and screen off power button torch is there too like let me show you if it actually works so yeah as you can see it works now let me show you the fingerprint scanner speed over here as you can see unlocked let's try it again unlocked again so yeah the fingerprint scanner actually works let's try with this index finger of my right hand and it unlocked now let me show you like this and it unlocked the fingerprint scanner speed is not bad at all now here we have the misc settings and pocket detection and stuff is there some features are missing from here i guess like this brightness control by sliding a finger or something those kind of features are just not there this is a really great rom to begin with it looks good it has some pretty cool animations the icons in this rom do look like some kind of different and look amazing like the settings icon and stuff i really really like them vaulting and stuff should be working fine over here too and banking apps and stuff does work over here too you should not worry so this is a quite a great rom in my opinion in terms of benchmarks here is the geekbench scores the daily driving performance with this rom should be pretty good so i can say you can definitely try this shape shift os on your redmi note 7 pro if you want to thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is t2 from carry and tech signing off for today and i'll catch you guys in the next one bye now